Hello and welcome back to a brand new Godot video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over part three of the mini shooting series. Part three is where we are going to be going and adding an enemy to the game, so this should be pretty fun. I'm going to try and make this part three pretty quick because it is pretty late at night tonight. It is almost 11 p.m. So I'm going to try and get this done quickly so you guys can have the entire series complete. I am also working on a dashing tutorial as well so hopefully that will be out soon what we're going to want to do for the enemy is we're going to want to add a kinematic body to d under the kinematic body to d we are going to want to add a sprite as well as a collision shape 2d as well as an area 2d with a collision shape because for the area 2d to work we need a collision shape on the area 2d sprite I'm going to make a quick enemy real fast, something like this. Boom, and then collision shape. Just a normal, oops, 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 just a normal collision shape as well. I'm not gonna try and make this perfect. Area 2D, you want to make it, you wanna make the collision shape under the area 2D the same size as the player, basically, because that's gonna detect what the bullet hits. Now we're going to rename this enemy. I'm going to add a script to this. We're going to create the script. To start off any type of enemy, you're going to want movement. So I'm going to make some constants. Constant speed, which is going to be 500. A constant jump, which is going to be equal to, we'll go with negative 500. A constant gravity gravity which is going to be equal to 20 and we are going to go with a constant up which is going to allow us to have movement up and down so vector 2 boom and boom 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 I'm gonna try and move my mic away from the keyboard just because I'm not trying to talk as loud in this video because I got to be kind of quiet but then I'm going to add a variable here for motion which is going to be equal to a vector 2 and then now we want different variables I'm going to try and go through this quick so I'm not going to try and do this in a perfect order but I will be telling you what these do so we're going to have a variable called move which is going to be equal to true this is just going to say are we allowed to move or are we not allowed to move basically um a direction here which is going to be equal to one so if it's equal to one and that's going to make us go right because this is ai so if it is one we're going to go right if it's negative one we're going to go left we want a variable to say alive so if it's alive it will show if it's not alive it won't show now we're going to want our health so uh, we're going to make a variable for health i'm going to make health 10 i'm going to make health 10 and then i'm going to make a variable that says can take damage so can take damage so if it can take damage then it's going to allow so if it's dead and obviously it's not allowed to take damage now this is just for to know how much damage to do and what weapon you're using so far weapon name that's going to be equal to nothing because we have no weapon so far uh, and then we're going to do weapon damage which is also going to be equal to zero because we don't know what weapon we're going to be using in case you have multiple weapons in the game now we're going to want a physics process because you need a physics process for movement best way to have movement so gravity we obviously want our enemy to have gravity movement now we want it to move on its own so we're going to do an if move so if it's allowed to move and then we want to check for the direction but first we can do we actually want to check for the direction 
So I'm going to put a pass here and go down here. We're going to make another function. Um, we can call this, we can call that direction. If motion.x is equal to 10 or is equal, if is equal to 100, so it moves 100 pixels to the right, then it will move 100 pixels to the left. And then 100 to the right, 100 to the left, so it moves back and forth. So if motion.x is equal to 100, so if it's at 100 pixels to the left or to the right, then we want direction to equal negative 1, because then we want it to start going left. Else if motion.x is equal to negative 100, so if it's equal to a negative 100, that means it went all the way to the left. And then we want it to go back to the right. So we want direction to equal 1. If you do want a more advanced tutorial on what I'm doing right here, just let me know. And uh, I will try and I will for sure do that. Hold up. I don't know how to spell direction. Is that not right? That is right. E C T. I forgot to. I misspelled it up top. That's on me. But now it should be fixed. So now, what we want to do here, under our if move in the physics process. So if we're allowed to move, then we want we want it to be moving all the time. So we want it to go and do the direction function. Once it does the function, then we're gonna have what we need. So motion dot x is gonna plus equal direction, which this is the direction variable which means if the motion dot x, or if the direction is negative one, then it's gonna be moving to the left. If the direction is one, then it's gonna be moving to the right. If you do want a more advanced tutorial, let me know, because I would like to help you out, and I'm trying to get through this quickly because it is late and I gotta go to bed, and I kinda gotta be quiet. So if you do want a more advanced tutorial, just let me know. Now we're gonna want a new function, which is gonna be function damage uh, we're gonna want this so uh, just so we can take damage and our character can die if it has to die because it's too low on health so if can take damage which basically means if the character is alive so if the character is alive and then if health is greater than zero because if it's zero then the character is already going to be dead so we don't need to go into this function but if the health is greater than zero then we want health to equal health minus weapon damage right damage minus weapon damage and then we're going to want to check if so after we've done the damage we want to check if health is greater than or equal to zero so or if zero is greater than or equal to so if it's like negative one or zero then we want it to come into this function which makes it if it is in this function that means it's going to be dead so we want alive to equal false and then we want to do if not alive which we just set up there so if we do die then we're going to make alive equal false and then we want to delete it so i'm just going to do q free and then we can print enemy has died just for our own sake now we want to make an else if so if the health is greater than zero which means it's alive then we want our First, we want to check that. So, if health is greater than zero, then we just want to print health, just so we know what the health is at. Now, to set weapon and everything, we want to go to collision shape, or to area 2D. We want to go to node. We want to have a area entered. So we can area entered right here. We can connect this area entered signal from the area 2d to the enemy which is gonna leave us with something like this now this is just going to basically say a bullet has hit us right so weapon name this collision shape is for the we'll just 
a random name ar i guess we can go with so that means ar has hit us right we want it to print uh just for us we can print weapon name and then it's going to print so weapon name bullet has hit enemy which means it's going to basically print ar bullet has hit enemy which is what we want or if it's a different type of gun it was going to say that gun bullet has hit enemy we want to set the weapon damage for this gun which for this particular gun weapon damage is two and then we want to run the damage function damage function which is going to go through here it's basically going to do the taking damage and everything and this all of this is just for movement so now if we were to go and play First, we actually have to put the enemy in. So if we were to save this as an enemy, we were to go to our world, we were to click this little icon right here. Oh, this icon right here, we click it, we add our enemy scene. No parent to instant child. Uh, we could also just drag it from up here and then click world. Oh, I forgot to click world thing, click this, that's on me. But then once we do that, we can add our enemy. We'll just add it right there. We were able to play. And I think I didn't add a moving slide. Yeah, okay. So basically, we just wanna go under the if. So we don't wanna be in this if statement. And we just wanna do motion equals move and move in slide motion and then up and now if we were to go play we do have movement so movement works now we can test the bullet so our bullet does work from last time but now we can test it on the enemy air bullet and the output it does say ar bullet has hit enemy and it shows the damage which is eight damage or eight health now it's six now it's four now it's two and once the enemy has died, it is no longer here. The bullet can never hit the enemy because every part of the enemy is gone. Can't fill it at all. Boom. There is the enemy damage complete. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'm sorry that part three has to be kind of recorded weird, but hopefully I pulled it off pretty good because I do have to be super quiet and it is 11 o'clock and I gotta go to bed. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a dashing video coming soon about how to have player dashing, which should be very helpful for some of you. I have got some questions for that or asking for that. So that is coming tomorrow or maybe it might, if it's not tomorrow, it will be the next day, but I am going to be recording that tomorrow for sure and hopefully uploading it as well but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy if you did remember to leave a like and i will see you in the next one thank you so 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 much and i will see you soon bye